everybody, welcome to the Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is a back to school haul. Today's back to school haul is Usborne. If you haven't seen all of the rest of our back to school hauls, I'm gonna link the playlist right here so you can check them out. Because if you love hauls, you're going to love them. Mostly today's haul was things that I thought we could use in our fifth grade homeschool, but they might be used other times as well. I got a lot of activity books for Emily, so those will be a lot of car schooling. I got tons of nonfiction books for her to read, um, just at her leisure, and stuff like that. So I can't wait to share it all with you. So we're just gonna jump right in. So one of the first series that I picked up for her um, to read was Leo's Map of Monsters. This was a new book series that just released. There's four in the series. So we have Leo's Map of Monsters and The Frightmare. Leo's Map of Monsters and The Shrieking Serpent. Leo's Map of Monsters and The Spitfang Lizard. And then Leo's Map of Monsters, The Armored Gorturk. Each of these books is approximately, let's see here, um, 140 pages. It's a very large font. And then in the back of each of them, there is almost like a like information about the monsters. And there's multiple pages. So. That's that series. The next series I got for her was the Extreme Adventure series. Since she loved the Bear Grylls series so much and she really liked the survival, I thought these would be really fun for her. So we have the Crocodile Attack, the Bushfire Rescue, Shark Bait, Scorpion Sting, Spider Bite, Man Eater, and then Grizzly Trap. Now these are approximately 150 pages. Here is a look at what level they are. That way you can make informed decisions for your kiddos. Um, the next books that I got her were actually continuation. So she has, I believe, the first and second, and I think these are the third and the fourth. So we have the Cursed Unicorn and the Blazing Unicorn. And of course, she loves anything that has to do with unicorns. So when she saw that there was new books released, she was dying to get those. Um, I also got her the Impossible Quest series. There are five books in that series. We have... Escape from Wolfhaven Castle, The Wolves of Witchwood, The Beast of Blackmoor Bog, The Drowned Kingdom, and Battles of the Heroes. And these books are about 180-ish pages. And then here is what level they're at. And now I will probably be reading some of pre-reading some of these books um, series. I'm not sure if this will be one of them, but I know for sure that this next series I'm going to show you will be one. I got them because I liked that they were Choose Your Own Adventure, what they're actually called Choose Your Own Ever After. Um, and so this is the makeup when the breakup, a hot cold summer, and. The Call of the Wild. Now again, these I'm definitely going to pre-read just because they may be too advanced content-wise for her, but I like that they were Choose Your Own like Ever After, and I love the Choose Your Own books for her. So we'll see if they're appropriate, then I'll let her read them. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys, I didn't show you. So these are approximately 275 pages, and this is the level of them. All right, next we have the mystery series. These are the mystery of, and then they're mysteries of different things. She absolutely loves mystery books, so I thought these would be fun. So we have the mystery of the painted dragon, the mystery of the jeweled moth, the mystery of clockwork, clockwork sparrow, 
and the mystery of the midnight peacock these are approximately 330 pages ish and that is the level that these are all right and then i think i just have one more nonfiction book series from usborn this time around and that is the kinsey and mac books the kinsey and max oh they're gonna fall so there's seven in that series um, and these just look like really, really fun. So it says that they're twins um, and they're constantly trying to solve like mystery type things. It's like top secret. So we have Kinsey and Max breaking news. Kinsey and Max disappearing act. Kinsey and Max undercover. Kinsey and Max out of sight. Kinsey and Max free fall. Kinsey and Max Full Speed, and then Kinsey and Max Takedown. Well, these are about, let's see, 350 pages a piece, and that is the level that these are written at. So that's all of the non-fiction books that I got for her um, for this school year or maybe the next. I also got her a few other things or a few other things for our school year. If you watched the plan with me video, then you know that fractions is one of the concepts that I wanted to work on with her this year. So when I found the fraction wrap up on the Usborne site, I knew we had to have it. We love these. We have the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and states and capitals, and now fractions. It's a really fun hands-on way to practice different skills. Um, I also picked up the My Year Around the World. We have the My Year of Writing. There's also a My Year of Art, and it's just fun um, kind of diary type of thing. There's 365 different activities. They're not dated, so you don't have to start them January 1st, which I like. You could just start them whenever. Um, it's really great to throw on your morning basket or your bedtime basket or something just to do every day. So this one is Global Activities. And I also grabbed her the 100 things to know about saving the planet. These 100 thing books are amazing. They're all these like small little bite sized chunks of information. So it's not overwhelming at all. And they're sometimes the most random pieces of information that we never would have learned or known otherwise. So I love them because you can pull them out on like any topic. They have tons of them and they're really, really great. A new addition that was a new release are these 24 hours books. So there's 24 hours in the jungle and then 24 hours in space and they're actual like comic books or graphic books and I really really thought they looked fun because it takes you through exactly like 24 hours of them doing like what a day in space would look like or what a day in the jungle would look like. So I thought she would really like that. I know she's going to love the space one. We'll see if she likes the jungle one but I think she will. Um, I also picked up this Mindful Activities book this is a new one and I love some of their mindful things from Usborne this is enjoy moments of calm with these mindful activities from gentle breathing to peaceful doodling each activity will help you tune into the here and now so it's just a book of activities that will help you um, focus and unwind and then along those same lines I also grabbed two magic paint yourself calm books I actually got one for each of us. I thought this would be kind of a fun activity for us to sit down and do together on days where we seem to be having a more difficult time with our, you know, emotions or whatever. And it's just a paint with water, so we would just need a cup of water and we could just sit down and paint together. So I really like that. We'll probably just keep that in our bedtime basket. And then she loves the magic painting books, so I grabbed a wild animals one for her just for her to do in her own free time. Um, a lot of the activity books that I grabbed this year for our homeschool will be the, um, used for strewing because if I'm finding it harder and harder to find things to strew the older that she's getting. So I thought, you know, like the paint with water books and some of these other ones I'm going to show you would be great for that. So I purchased with that in mind. So I got the Usborne STEM Science Scribble Book. Now I actually ordered this one first. And I just assumed that it would be like graph paper, like just a book of graph paper. And I got it thinking it would be kind of fun for her to have a place to like jot down some of the things that her and Kevin do together for their experiments. But it's not just a like graph paper book. It's actually 
this fun book full of like activities and different things that you can do. Like, are you left or right-handed? Um, like this is a coding activity. Just all kinds of different things. So then, after I realized what these scribble books actually were, I thought, well, that would be really fun to strew. So then I picked up the inventions one, as well as the math one, and the technology one, and the engineering one, because they're all different. They all have different types of little activities in them. I don't know why I always just thought it was quite literally a scribble or doodle book, and so I've looked past these every time but it's a book full of really fun activities that are STEM related. So I got all of those to use for strewing this year. And then along those same lines, I also got the design activity book because I thought she would love this. It's full of different things you can design. We're talking from like pretty handwriting, fancy handwriting is what she calls it, to grids, all the way to I like it has like web design and software design in it as well so I thought that would be kind of fun to strew and build your own website for beginners same thing along the same line something really fun for her to kind of learn on her own and then some activity books just to keep her busy marvels of the USA is one of the new USA activity books there's um, animals of the USA and a um, like roadmaps to the USA. These are always so much fun and it's a easy way for her to learn more about the United States without us diving deep into it if, or if we're not diving deep into it at the moment. So let's see we also have some spy mazes. I love the Usborne maze books and so does she because they're not like super simple but they're also not too complicated and they're colorful and fun and they're all like a little bit different so spy mazes and then these after I got her an ocean one recently have become something she's asked to do more of and so it's the build your own sticker books I got her an ocean animal one when we were doing the ocean unit study um, and she's like oh, I really like these mom so I got her the build your own dragon sticker book build your own mythical beast sticker book Build Your Own Deadly Animal sticker book, and then the Build Your Own Dinosaur sticker book. And I think what she likes most is, it is really, really fun, and they're big Build Your Own, but you get to see like the skeleton, and then you put the stickers over it, and then there's also fact, like factual information about each one too. So it's not just like a regular sticker book. She's learning as she's doing them, and she's really, really likes that kind of thing. So like here's the dragon, and there's like statistics on it and everything. So she gets to learn as she stickers and she loves that kind of thing. Um, I also grabbed her two of these write your own activity books, again, for strewing and just to have something extra to do. Both of these will probably be added into like a language arts loop. We have write your own scripts and write and design your own magazines. And then of course I had to pick up the brand new release, lots of things to know about animals. She may know most of what's in here, but it just seemed like kind of a cool, um, like a, just different. So it's like how to spot a leopard from a jaguar, um, how to dress horses up like zebras, how high can which birds go and why. It's just like interesting things, like not just your standard animal encyclopedia, like which animal would live the longest. It's like quirky animal facts, which is perfect for her. Animal architects. So I knew she would love that one. Um, there was a new Sea Inside book, so I had to grab that. There's actually two. This one's Sea Inside the Solar System. We love the any kind of Lift the Flat books. I love that they're interactive. It makes them so much more fun, but especially the Sea Inside because those are for the older kids, and the information is a little bit more, and so we really, really like those. I love adding those to our collection. Sea Inside the Microscopic World. Again... It's one of those that has like the lift the flaps and it's a lot of different things. Kevin is very excited to go through this one with her. Um, they had a lift the flap question and answer about feelings. So I grabbed that one to add to our collection. I love the question and answer ones too because they're interactive and they ask questions that most kids would ask. And then they have the answers for you. 
we have the that's a job i like performing arts what jobs are there this book series is amazing there's i like animals what jobs are there i like space what jobs are there i like the outdoors what jobs are there um, and I like art, what jobs are there? I think maybe even a sports one, but it's just so cool. Like if you have a kid who likes the performing arts and they're like, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up. It's such a fun way to see some of the different jobs that tie into performing arts. And it goes into like what a day in that person's life would look like, what kind of schooling they had or what kind of, um, like what it took to get the job, the best and the worst parts of their job. And so it's just, I mean, we're talking about stand up comic, actress actor and there's so many different things in here so i love that it's showing different careers that your kids could have um, a critic a screenwriter a pop singer a movie director a vlogger a lighting technician um, a radio dj a stunt artist there's just so many different things so it exposes to so many like emily has always said she wanted to be a vet and i think mainly that's because it's the only job that she knew that worked with animals and then we got the i like um animals what jobs are there and now after learning how many different things work with animals she's pretty sure now that she wants to be a wildlife conservationist because she loves the idea of conserving um the animal species or the population so i just i think those books are amazing for kids so if you if they have one that ties into the topic your kid is interested in you should buy it the last thing i got for her just because i thought she would really like these is yoga animals so it's a book series and it's all animal based yoga and she loves like the cosmic kids yoga on YouTube. So I thought she would enjoy this because it's all, like I said, animal based yoga. So she's going to think it's a blast. So this one is yoga animals in the Arctic, yoga animals on Savannah, yoga animals in the forest. Yoga Animals at the Seashore, which this is the book that started it all because I was looking for ocean stuff for our ocean unit. And then I, you know, kind of fell down this hole full of yoga animal books. So then we have Yoga Animals on the Farm as well. So each of these have like 13 different poses to help jump, stretch, balance, breathe, and relax with those animals. And so I think she will think yoga is a lot more fun. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe it will lead down, you know, some like mindfulness and relaxation types of rabbit trails. We'll see. I'll let you guys know but that's it that is everything that I purchased from Usborne for our back to school fifth grade year I'm sure that there will be things that we add in as they release new titles but that's what we've gotten so far don't forget to check out the rest of our back to school haul and stay tuned for more